इट्स रियूनियन टाइम सौरभ दिया टू थाउजेंड सेवन बैच रोहित शर्मा अजीत अगरकर एंड अ न्यू एंट्रेंट टू द बैच इज गौतम गंभीर वी ऑल वेर एंटिसिपेटिंग दिस न्यूज लाइक ही वी इवन ऑन इंडिया टू डॉट इन वी कन्फर्म दैट ही वुड लीव हिज के के आर जॉब एंड टेक अप द इंडिया कोचिंग जॉब एंड फाइनली Jaisha the BCCI secretary made it official on Tuesday saying that Gambhir will be the right man to take it forward initial reactions sorab uh, were you are you happy that KKR are losing some someone as important as Gambhir how do you look that look at this why are you asking about KKR yes. it is not about KKR RCB Delhi Capitals CSK Mumbai Indians hmm. it's about Indian cricket no oh. If I look at the fans on social media, it doesn't look like it. See, fans on social media, I would not comment on that <laughs> because I have already in the past few episodes I have yeah. said that what they are hmm. a toxic group of people who do not understand the game. Hmm. They are majority a, of them. Yes, yes. That fanboyism does not do good to anyone, hmm. neither to a player or a team or even to the game itself. Yeah. So let's talk about the main man, Gautam Gambhir, and his new role, Indian cricket team head coach. He is replacing Rahul Dravid, the same Rahul Dravid who gave you your first ICC title in last thirteen years, thirteen or fourteen years, something like that. Thirteen. Thirteen. So, this is going to be a heck of a challenge for Gambhir. But as we all have seen, Gambhir, he is a mm. man who knows, who is known to take up those challenges mm. and make up his own. Yeah. So I am very happy and very excited to be very frank with you, because Gautam Gambhir era, it might be either you win all. Thinks everything, or you completely break down, mm. because it's going to be a an era where everything is going to change. So you don't have a Rohit Sharma, mm. Jadeja, and Kohli in your T20 setup. Yeah. So a new Indian team is already playing in Zimbabwe, and Sri Lanka also. I think these are the same bunch of boys with a couple of the T20 World Cup side winning boys. Mm. They will return, and especially with the ODI uh, Champions Trophy, ODI or T20, we don't even know that yeah. the 2025 Champions Trophy where it will be played. Yeah. What format will it be played? So Gautam Gambhir has a task in head because he, I think, he is going to be our head coach till uh, October twenty twenty seven. Yes, December. and five IC trophies to, to for him to grab. Hmm. So first he starts with uh, Champions the Champions Trophy. Trophy, then the WTC final, then the T Twenty World Cup, then another uh, WTC final, and then the ODI World Cup. So too much on the plate, and I'm I'm really excited. Let's not talk about KKL. Let's talk about Indian cricket, please. Yeah, what about you? Uh, I think when that announcement came in, uh, I just read it somewhere that either Team India will end up winning three, four mm. ICC titles, or they will end up having thirty, forty odd controversies mm. under Gambhir's era. So mm. that pretty much sums up like the how this era can pan out. Mm. Either it can go this way or that way. But I hope you know we end up winning, knowing that you know how Gambhir. Has won two ICC titles and has won as a captain for KKR as well and and as a mentor as well. Although I do have a doubt that you know he doesn't have a lot of credentials to offer as a hmm. coach. Mm-hmm. You know he has been a mentor but not a coach of any particular side as such. So I think there was a lot of hype that was created around him when he you know mentored K- uh, KKR to and and they won the title. But I still do have my doubts how he will, you know, pan out as a coach, as a Team India coach. And I think he does have like a big responsibility on his head. And I think, yeah, let's see how it pans out. Are we doubting a man who walked in at thirty-five for two in that two thousand eleven World Cup final when Lasith Malinga was steaming in, had his tail up, and every Sachin and Sehwag back in the hut, and we all thought, okay, we might have to wait another four years to, you know, win the title. But you know what? Uh, Dia's point is many of us have raised this point. Many of whom I have seen on social media have raised this point, saying that okay, Gambhir doesn't have previous coaching experience, yeah. but why do you need someone to tell Virat how to bat, Absolutely. or tell Rohit how to bat? What Dravid did, he had a batting coach with him. Or many people also said yeah. okay, Gambhir is not going to ask for a batting coach because he was an opener himself. Was Gambhir a greater batsman than Rahul Dravid? No. Rahul Dravid had a batting coach in Vikram Rathore with him. Because at this level, I think with Ravi Shastri made it very clear. I think during his stints as team director <laughs> and coach, that a coach is more a manager these days in cricket. Absolutely, it's about man management. Yeah, and there is, uh, there is no bias to and towards anyone, but I have not seen a better talent scout than Gambhir, a better man man management man 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 manager than Gambhir. He picked 
players whom we didn't think would work from the from the start from 2011 2012 2013 if you see the kkr days he used rajat batia no disrespect to rajat batia the military medium pacer as one of his key weapons in the yeah, team yeah definitely so when it comes to man management we all saw what kkr sunil narain unlocked uh, under russell unlocked under russell was like just waiting to get injured in the last two three seasons play one game hold your knee and go back hold your calf and go back but he played like a champion this time so i think that is something that india needs yes we are, we all are very happy that india won the t20 world cup but let's not forget what was the conversation we were having two exactly. two months ago we were saying in the very very own sledging room podcast yeah. that probably gambhir will be the man who will end india's icc title drought i am so happy that dravid ended his coaching stint on a high but let's not say that okay dravid's legacy is huge it will be very difficult we have won one icc trophy in the last 13 years yeah. which is not good which is not good enough for a team like india and i think gambhir's that ruthless mentality i want him to say in australia pitch baad mein jaye <laughs> don't worry about the pitch reports i want that ravi shastri emotions back and i think it'll be fun and fury to watch gambhir that's it's a long uh, explanation that i've given but but akshay yes, yeah. as you said uh, ravi shastri era mm-hmm. back mm-hmm. that was kohli and ravi shastri fire yeah. and fire together mm. then we saw rohit and dravid mm. ice cold demeanor mm. both this time it's the ice cold nature of uh, rohit mm. and that fiery nature of um, yeah. uh, gambhir will these two play, uh, these two go well together because we saw what happened with anil kumble mm. and virat kohli so could that be a repeat of that or it's going to be fine you know so, do you want to take this that? is the agenda which has been peddled by pakistani journalists mm-hmm. so called journalists the western media because they are very afraid mm-hmm. afraid of what is going to come next mm-hmm. india already won a title and now you see so people forget people forget one simple thing mm-hmm. that this indian team it is not run by one man there is an institution in place there is a uh, bc secretary jaisa we have our captain and we have teams and people assigned for their jobs they are chief selector so gautam gambhir has his own job i understand and with rohit sharma if you asking rohit sharma and gautam gambhir share a very good rapport very good rapport whenever you see hmm. gautam gambhir has always come out and said because i remember uh, when uh, virat kohli was the captain and india were not winning ice titles gambhir was the first man who came out and said if rohit sharma is not being made the indian captain it's not rohit sharma's loss is india's loss hmm. and you see how when rohit sharma has become a captain we have won a title So Gautam Gambhir and Rohit Sharma, for however long they might work, they will work together in a tandem. That is what I believe. Yeah. Because if you look at KKR also, how do you perceive a Shreyas Iyer? He is also he looks a cool and calm guy on mm. the field. I have never seen him go uh, like a Ben Stokes or like a Virat Kohli. He has his own ideas, mm. but his ideas is com- his ideas were complemented with Gambhir and Chandrakant, and then they won a the title. Yeah. So this Indian team with uh, rush of young blood. the experience which gautam gambhir brings and you know the best part of gambhir which i believe so whenever i have heard gambhir what i have liked the most about this guy is he always comes out and said it is not the stars that matter yes it is the team that matters so as a team you have to perform rohit sharma okay you are a captain you perform you stay there if you are not the captain you are responsible for things you take the fall and go out hmm. it's as simple as that hmm. because indian team as a whole it depends on as rahul dravid won your title gautam gambhir has his own kind of uh, what you say mindset and his own behavior of working yeah i think the selection will be easy from now on you know gautam gambhir sits in the selection committee ask the players what do you remember of the 2011 world cup final anyone says ms dhoni six they are out he comes <laughs> out CS- of the team csk fan no i'm saying they're out of the team this is this is the agenda that has been peddled <laughs> yeah. no it's it's just joke but you know he himself has said that i have For, fortunate to work under him as a good captain and all that but you know what a lot of us we have been talking so much about rohit virat and all that but let's understand that this team is going to go through a transition period and you need a figure like gautam gambhir probably to handhold the young players you know yes we have a robust setup rahul dravid what he did at nca and under 19 level is unparalleled vvs lakshman what he is doing with the under 19 cricketers and the nca is again commendable 
so you need that you know that strong character when you come at that when you come to play at the international level someone saying that okay go out and there exp- express yourself i don't give a damn whether you get out or not Te- something that is that was told to sunil narayan in the ipl don't worry go out and smash ayush badoni you saw what he did for lucknow super giants yeah. picked him got him there nitish nitish rana who so so many players so many players have done well under gambhir i think that fearless attitude is something that we lacked we yes under rohit sharma and rahul dravid they molded that attitude yeah. but i think gambhir will be the right man to take it forward and akshay as you are talking about mentality we have seen how the kkr players have lauded gambhir for mm-hmm. you know his mentality the you know that mentality that he brought within the team and i remember that fiery speech he came right right the moment he uh, you know mm-hmm. entered the kkr camp and i think there was the power of manifestation there as well mm-hmm. because he mentioned on uh, may 26 i think that was when the final was played we will be there in chennai lifting the cup and that exactly what happened he said mm. that two months ago and mm. that manifestation turned into a reality yeah. now i can just imagine you know that the speech his very first speech that he will be giving and let's see if he'll be saying the same thing that, that we'll be lifting mm. champions trophy let's say where, where, wherever it will be happening don't forget the manifestation that jaysha did oh Janda that that is oh. unforgettable both of them doing now <laughs> yes seeing that jhanda uda denge champions trophy in Absolutely. dubai colombo or karachi wherever they play and probably winning the world test championship final yeah so it's i think gonna be, you know it's going to be exciting times yeah. you know uh, and i still think that this team in transition needs someone like gambhir and yes dravid was a steely character it's not to say that he was not but i don't expect gambhir to go to a, a pre icc tournament press conference and say that okay we have come here to compete we have come here to, no just go for the win and that's something that will be refreshing to see is what i think yeah his first reaction after he became the coach on social media hmm. india is my identity yeah. hmm. so the man who says that yeah you have to give it to him but on the contrary yeah. do you think sometimes it puts pressure on the players like okay it's a sport at the end of the day no. why do you want to no, it's not just associated so, so, with so, so. Huh. you saw what happened on 4th of july hmm. in mumbai the streets of flooded with fans hmm. it's not just sports here hmm, hmm, hmm. this gives you ev- everyone either you are rich whether you are rich or poor hmm. everyone was celebrating that win hmm. so it's more of a religion than sports in india cricket yeah, yeah. you want to win everything when that happened on 19th november you saw people were in tears everybody was heartbroken that okay we came again we came near the title and we we could not win it hmm. gambhir will make sure i believe gambhir will make sure that you go for the kill He will have plans sorted out for everything. Yeah, like how he had plans for Dhoni. Cap- yeah, you see, Dhoni, MS Dhoni, yeah. one of the greatest yeah. tacticians in the history of cricket, as yeah. we have seen, he has done. And Gambhir thwarted him mm. thoroughly in the IPL when he was a KKR player, CSK, when he was the captain yeah. and as a coach also. Yeah. And on this IPL, with all this agenda that, like Dia also mentioned, that Rohit and Gambhir mm. might not. He came out and said, "People like headlines. Mm. You want controversies." but you don't see when i praise these players yeah arashwin said that gautam gambhir is the most misunderstood uh, misunderstood indian cricketer ever do you remember the scenes i remember i were covering the rigel final skkr has a young uh, bihar bowler who plays for bengal shakib husain is a young bowler nobody knows him he is uh, touted as another fast bowling gem of uh, bowler so i remember after the match got over his parents were in edin gardens uh, no where, wherever the final was hmm. and gambhir went to him and Chinning. yes kaise hain aap hmm. आपका लड़का बहुत आगे जाएगा दैट इट सेल्फ शोज अलॉट अबाउट गौतम गंभीर यू नो टेकिंग केयर ऑफ अ गाय हु इज ऑन द फ्रिंज एंड टेलिंग हिज पेरेंट्स दैट आई एम हियर टू गार्ड यू डोंट वरी अबाउट दिस गाय सो इफ अ गाय हु इज योर हेड कोच कम्स एंड सेज दिस टू योर यंगेस्ट प्लेयर्स योर टीम मेंटेलिटी आई एम गिविंग एवरीबडी विल गो फॉर द किल यू नो आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग एट वॉट यू बोथ सेड आई एम जस्ट यू नो वंडरिंग हाउ प्रिवलेज द इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम इज राइट you have a rahul dravid uh giving his all for like 6 7 years after yeah. the after his playing career mm-hmm. and he departs and now comes gautam gambhir yes he had a he had a job to two two month ka job at kkr he could have said okay i want to do this but no he wants to throw his uh, hat in the ring and try it out whether he succeeds or not is another thing but when your intentions are right probably you'll get the right results on the other side there are a lot of teams who are struggling to have a head coach yeah uh, so there are you know you are not having a head coach for more than 6 months you are having a team director who sits on zoom calls 
and attends uh, press conferences so, during the major tournament our neighbors no, pakistan what, that's whatever it is like <laughs> sri lanka for instance they yeah. have been struggling to have consistent coaches yeah. um bangladesh so many so many issues but that's why you pointed it out it's not just one man it's just how the board yeah. functions you know a lot of times you face a lot of you give you cr- criticize bci sometimes i think it's unfair yes there are there are a lot left to be desired in terms of how the stadiums are run how the tournaments but it's the crowd it's the crowd and the thing but bci deserves a lot of credit for putting a system into place and one of the most well pl- yes domestic cr- structure that also people are trying to rectify right so i think we should all take a moment to you know appreciate what indian cricket is going through yeah. you know you talk about football not getting enough attention badminton not getting enough enough attention but that's not bci's fault that's not cricket's fault yeah the indian government has to look for that the sports ministry has to look for that so many you people it's you, just you so many stakeholders BC- yeah you can't blame like bci for that you 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 think about the fans if you put a world cup final and if you have a all england final what will you watch probably we'll be watching it in another screen whether lakshya sen defeats uh whether lakshya sen defeats victor victor selsen but not many will care about it right because cricket is such a popular sport and you have to run it properly so yeah. i think in that way we are a little fortunate at the moment yeah. with a lot of options and gone are the days when you wanted a foreign coach and you know you were looking at uh foreign m- m- mindset for you know okay i will learn from him i learn from him but i do believe that more indian coaches should come into the system we all saw what bharat arun did we also what vikram rathor did uh, over the few t dilip was a w- wonderful fielding coach and now there are reports that gambhir wants abhishek nair who yeah. has been very instrumental in you know shaping up careers of young players and and old players alike and someone like a vinay kumar and lakshmipati balaji as his bowling coach i still remember when uh, ravi shastri in 2017 or 2000 after kumble went away uh, a lot of people said zahir khan i think the cac also recommended zahir khan and rahul yeah. dravid to ravi shastri but he had his own plans i think coaches should be left to choose left to allowed to choose their own players there's one point ah yeah one more point i want to mention i don't know if it's true or not but i have read in a lot of media reports that gautam gambhir he said that i want to go on this zimbabwe tour also I will not, I will just be there I will see how these players are playing hmm. but we say request him to know to let uh, Vijay Lakshman do his job and let him join from Sri Lanka so see his commitment yeah he just got the job and he wants to get into the action straight away yeah i don't know if he will be able to get us results we don't know we have to see in the future hmm. but that commitment matters yeah. for me because we as a cricketing nation we have grown leaps and bounds what remains is winning more trophies Yeah. And with everything in place right now, yeah. I believe we will. We have won one IC trophy, yeah. and we will win more. Yeah. But I think this podcast cannot be complete without talking, as the social media has been talking a lot about it. Kohli and Gambhir together in one dressing room. Yeah. A lot of buzz has been just around that. Sadly, mm. how are the scenes going to be like? Two Delhi boys, Punjabi songs, fun. Fun only, yeah. Hai na? Of course. I mean. People you know, forget. look at look at what the the statements from IPL. Virat Kohli said fans are disappointed that Masala is over. Yeah. Yeah. Gambhir said there there these are the many people do it for TRPs. Yeah. Headline mongers are having problems. Yes. So people yes. forget. Let yeah. let us remind people. People forget when Virat Kohli was a young Virat Kohli was just brooming. Gautam Gambhir was the f- man who gave him the f- his first man of the match award. He mm. shared the man of the match award. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Gautam Gambhir, as a cricketer, hmm. and the respect he commands from Delhi cricketers or Indian cricketers everywhere, is a different thing. Yeah. And this uh, Virat Kohli versus Gautam Gambhir agenda, I don't understand this. It was all IPL headline mongers. Yeah. Yeah. And on the field, a lot of people have these moments, heated yeah. moments. So many people have had, uh, have had altercations on the field, but. It has never spilled over. It has rarely spilled over, unless your so Samuels Roh- and Roh- Mohan. So your captain Rohit Sharma threw yeah. the ball in anger when uh, Bhuvneshwar missed a catch. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. So what will you say? Okay, Bhuvneshwar and Rohit don't get along together. Mm. No, these things happen on the field. Yeah. When you are playing for the passion, but when you are out, you are yeah. playing for the country. You are playing for the country. Yeah. It's it's there is one job. Virat and Rohit both have come out and said, and Gambhir also. Yeah. And I I'm happy that, you know, someone. like gambhir can probably say that enough is enough if the seniors are not performing well yes let's let's properly agree that 2027 like sorov was discussing by 2027 rohit will be like 40 41 yeah. yeah so if things are not working you need to be in a position to say okay i'm moving ahead 
like we all criticized Dhoni a lot, but he did that, made that call after 2011. Yeah. Like whether we won the 2015 World Cup or not, that's another thing. But he at least set up certain things. Like if you think that you're overstaying your time, it's time to move on. Definitely, and you know, with Rohit Sharma, thank you for everything that you have done. Now look at Champions Trophy. In what if, uh, if it happens in Odia, they are playing. Rohit and Virat both are playing. I hope you win it, and please take a call there. Hmm. If if you feel that it's over, it's over. If you feel you can carry, then give your best. I'm not asking you to retire or leave the game. You can play. You have done so much for the uh, country and cricket, but take a decision accordingly. Hmm. Don't just uh, play like some Pakistani cricketer like Babar Azam does. Uh, yeah, I think even they are mature enough to know that you know mm. when it's time for them, they will leave, and that's what we saw with the T20I yes, as yes. well. Had they won or had they not won, they were clear yeah. in their mind yeah. that this mm. was the end of of the road for them, and they are just going to leave it. So I think they are also mature enough, and I think Gambhir, you know, has that aggressive uh, mentality within him that you know. he will be very straightforward with the team that i am sure about there will be mm. no sugar coating or anything for any particular mm. player no favorism for any particular yeah. player that i am sure about that yeah if this player is not performing because there is so much backup you know in this indian setup if one player is not performing well he will definitely bring in some other or the other player that yeah, i am I mean, sure about i mean definitely there will be mutual respect between the likes of yeah. virat yeah. Uh, rohit and gambhir yeah. but decision will be taken according to the team's needs as yeah. simple as that i think dravid in a beautiful post rohit sharma said that you know despite being the legend that you are you were receptive to everything that we said we could just walk up to you and say whatever we wanted i just hope gambhir provides them the that much of you know room in the yes. dressing room yeah uh, because some players need that you know you need to open up to them so gambhir is the youngest man to become india head coach india men's cricket team head coach at 42 Dhoni, mentor, mentor. Come on, head coach. Two thousand twenty-one. Yes. So yeah, I hope yeah that that boards well with everyone yeah. because they have played together and now he's in a senior role. He's a much important role because Ajit Agarkar, Rohit, and Gambhir have to chalk out a plan yeah. how to win more titles. As simple as that. Nothing else. Yeah. And you know when we're talking about Gambhir, you can't forget what in this young Indian team is doing in Zimbabwe. Course. Yes, they lost their first T20I. Yeah. Which before you go there, I just thought, what India these three need to do? Gambhir to bat at number three in ICC final. <laughs> 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 Or yeah, open please. the bat. <laughs> Done. Or maybe yeah. prepare someone with that mentality. Of course. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but of course, what this Indian team is doing in Zimbabwe, there are a lot of you know Gambhir must be sitting and watching. Okay, Abhishek Sharma, how can you like sort of? I have a simple question to the both of you. Yeah. Abhishek Sharma scored a hundred of just forty-six balls, hmm. the third fastest T20I hundred for India. Against Zimbabwe in the second T20I, but he, it looks like he might not retain his place in the eleven when Sanju, uh, Yashashwi, and uh, who's the other one? Shivam Dubey. Shivam Dubey. These three who played the T20 World Cup have rejoined the team uh, in Harare for the third T20I, which will get underway before this episode airs. But yeah, the problem of plenty is something that Indian team has to deal with now. But I don't think this should happen. This is unfortunate if this happens mm. because. The kind of performance that guy gave, he got out to, for a duck in his first game, fine. Yeah. But he was he got out while trying to hit shots. Hmm. First thing, second thing, when he played that knock, it looked a special knock. Yes, he got a couple of chances. He's a young guy, and the way he has performed in this IPL, and now he has transformed it. He has translated it with a hundred hmm. for India. He should not be dropped. Hmm. Maybe you can you you can play uh, Jaswal in uh, in the place of Sudarshan, who is not in, in squad for the thirty two day. And Drew Zewell can make way for Sanju Samson if you want that. Yeah. But please don't drop Abhishek Sharma. Looking at the larger picture, I'm asking the both of you. Mm. You have a lot of option options for the top order now, mm. right? Yeah. And you have a lot of options for the wicket keeper slot also. Mm. Does Shubman Gill deserve a place in the T20I squad? Like you know, Hardik is going to lead the T20I side. Mm. Yes. And probably Abhishek Sharma. I don't know whether he is in the pecking order to open the innings. Who will be your openers, and does Shubman Gill deserve a place in the side? Let the answer it first. So uh, what I have heard is also that Gautam Gambhir might, you know, chalk out a plan where hmm. there will will be format specific players who will specialize hmm. in a particular format, yeah. and you know that would pretty much help the team because uh, hmm. there is plenty of talent in the Indian cricket team. Hmm. Uh, there can be a few players who will be three format specialists with the like of you know let's say Jasprit Bumrah just hmm. for now. Uh, Virat. 
So I think uh, although it could be two left-handed combination in the top of the order, but that is also fine. So I think Yashasvi Jaiswal and Abhishek Sharma should get a go in the T20s for me. So of you, definitely I agree with Dia, because you know what, Shuman Gill, I admire him as a batter, hmm. but I don't see him playing that kind of cricket, that attacking cricket which yes. we need in T20s, hmm. because T20s is a different format now. Even this IPL, when you saw batsmen hitting at over one one eighty strike rate hmm. and they were hitting sixes on will, Gill did not. Yeah. Look like the same batter on the same pitches. Yeah. So every batter, for example, an Abhishek Pohl will batter better than uh, Shuman Gill. There was an intent in Abhishek Pohl's batting, yeah. Yeah. but I did not see the same intent in Shuman Gill's batting. Hmm. He's a good batter. He is a proper textbook batter, but I believe he should stick to ODIs and tests until unless he changes his game. And for me, definitely as the asset, you have to have these two as your openers: Yashasvi hmm. Jaiswal and Abhishek Sharma. And with Su- with Surya coming at number three, Surya coming. I I don't see uh, Rishabh Pant also playing T20Is anymore. Ach, but yeah. he was part of the World Cup winning. Yeah, start, I sort of? yeah. So were so was Jadeja, Virat, mm-hmm. and Rohit. Virat and Rohit retired. Jadeja, we all know what he did. He retired. Rishabh Pant, I don't see him playing T20Is. So who will, who's your pick for the wicketkeeper then? Sanju Samson. Sanjus. Any day. Backup. Backup Dhruv Jirel. Yeah, Dhruv Jirel. Jitesh. Jitesh can be your second backup. And there is one one guy who's waiting to break into the squad again. Who? Ishan Kishan. Ishan Kishan has made things very tough for himself, yeah. so it will take a lot of time for him to mend ways. Hmm. Because right now there are already so much people who are sitting in the Zimbabwe dugout but have not got a game. Hmm. They are knocking on a door, yeah. and you actually, I what what do I say? You <laughs> made things difficult for yourself. Hmm. Now it will be interesting see if, to see if he comes back and when he comes back. Maybe mm. Gambhir with Dravid gone, maybe Gambhir will give him a chance. But only if the other players who are in the uh, current reckoning, they don't perform, then only yeah. Ishan Kishan will get a chance. And Rutraj is already practicing keeping wickets also. Oh. So, so you got so many options. <laughs> yeah. Who will, who according, according to you, Akshay, who will open for India? In uh, T20. Yeah. I'm going with the same. Abhishek Sharma and uh, Yashish. So you also don't see uh, Gil as a uh, proper no. player in T20. Especially after what happened after that. I'm, I'm being very brutal here. I know he's a young person. Might have said that in a very uh, oh I remember yeah. what, <laughs> but you can't say that oh I scored these many runs last IPL so you need to pick me in the World Cup squad and something close to that but I don't think that's probably yeah. gonna take you where you have to go, uh, but why not get back Rohit Sharma why did he retire from T20 is something that I'm wondering because he did his job he did yeah. his job he but I think he has set the tone he has set the tone saying that don't worry about these milestones don't worry about the wickets just go for it. Kambir yeah. himself didn't worry about the milestones. Never. Coming down the track on 97. Never. And I think it was the perfect timing. No, One Sharma Ji ka beta left and another, mm. another Sharma Ji ka beta you is here. You wanted to make this yes. point. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to make this point, yes. But so, yeah. yeah, the Sharma Ji ka beta hype will always be there. And mm. I think the reins have been handed over. Great. Point. In the perfect manner. Before we sign off, th- five ICC trophies. Yeah. How many are India going to win? Take a call. Till 2027. Quite a tough task, if you ask me. Yeah. But I don't care about Champions Trophy to win lose that Champions Trophy. Nobody gives a damn about Champions Trophy. Win WTC, win YC ODI World Cup. At least two of them. At least two of them, if not more. And you are going no. to defend ODI. Defend. You you ask them to win. That is another thing. Yeah. What do you think will happen? What three, do you three titles. Three titles. So you win a WTC. You win that. You You defend the T20 World Cup mm-hmm. in India and Sri Lanka, and then you win the uh, ODI World Cup 2007, and then. We see uh, uh, Gautam Gambhir retiring as the most successful coach as of Indian cricket team. Yeah, Stepping you? Down. Actually, it's the same answer, but I'll just add the retirement part. Virat Kohli as well, uh, retiring on a high hmm. after that 2007, uh, 2007 T20, uh, ODI, ODI World Cup, Cup in South Africa. The that will be the, the end of The streets are not ready for this. <laughs> the streets the are streets, not ready. No one Probably is. don't have it in Mumbai, have it in Greater Noida, oh. where there is plenty of space. <laughs> <laughs> or in the Agra Highway. Or in some state highways, don't have it in Nariman Point at yeah, this time. Yeah. 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 Please let but other other cities also enjoy the same festivity. 
But yeah. there are three ICC titles for sure. This jinx has finally mm. been broken, and I think plenty of trophies await this team. Great. On that note, on a positive note, uh, I'm I'm calling for five, five out of five over the next uh, three and a half years. Well, let's see. On the positive note, we should also, you know, uh, involve our fans in this. What do they think about this appointment? It was a very well-known thing that Gambhir was in line to up get appointed. Yeah. But what do they think? How the how will the equations pan out? Is something that we'd love to hear from you. If you have your feedback, please do send in on eight five double eight nine double six double nine six. You could also email us on pods at indiatoday dot com. If you're listening to us on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, and Spotify, please do rate us. And like we always say, if you're watching us on YouTube, please do leave your comments. We'll be so happy to learn your feedback. Thank you. Have a great week.